What's up guys? I'm taking a break from all this wiring and I'm gonna get started on the under deck rod storage. I'm going to be building a custom rod clip holder that's gonna go vertically on the side panel here. And then my plan is to 3D print a rod tube holder that these tubes are gonna run through that's gonna give room for the rods to slide under the deck. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump on the computer, see what I can mock up and show you guys what I came up with. All right guys, well it's been a few days and I am excited to get this rod holder completed today. I spent the last couple days working out different revisions and designs for the rod holder cover. So let me just walk you through what I've done so far. This was my original idea. The first issue I had was that the tubes didn't fit through the holes, so I had to enlarge the holes, and I wasn't super thrilled with just the general look of it. So that was revision one. Revision two, I enlarged and smoothed out the holes. My tech still didn't work out too well, and the screw holes were too small. So we moved on to revision three. Uh, with revision three, the screw holes were the right size, the holes were the right size, but the logo did not print correctly. I decided that since I was already gonna be reprinting it again, let me try spacing out the holes even further. So that was this revision here. I was able to space out the holes pretty much to the maximum width I had available to work behind the, um, the mounting brackets up front. The logo printed great, but I tried a setting on my printer that was supposed to smooth out the surface and it turned out not so good. So finally, I landed on my final print here. This is the holes spaced out as maximum as I could fit. The uh, screw holes were just enlarged a little bit to make the screws screw in without damaging the plastic at all. The logo printed the way it should. The finish is really nice. So this is the version I'm gonna do. Now, after I had this set up, I started working on the clips to hold the ends of the rods along the side here. I looked online and I saw some ideas for different clips that you could buy. So what I decided to do was order these clips in a ABS plastic, which is much, much more durable. And it also came in two different sizes. If anyone was looking to do this too, these are available on Amazon. This one I think was like six to eight dollars, something like that. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to find them. Um, that way you can kind of replicate this on your own. So I'm gonna go ahead and find a position for this that I'm happy with, get this screwed into the sidewall, and then we can start getting our holes drilled out. Okay, that fit perfectly. Nice. Hell yeah, now it's nice and solid. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it loose in there. Okay, that's gonna work. All right, let's get this done. All right, well, these holes came out really good. The pipes fit through perfectly. Um, I was able to just trim the top of this brace here to make sure that was able to fit as high as I could. So overall, super happy with how this came out. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do before I get any further on this is I wanna seal up the interior of all those holes now that I've cut into it. Uh, my plan is I'm gonna run some masking tape down the front of the carpet there to make sure nothing goes through. And then I'm gonna hit the insides with some oil-based paint. That's gonna do a nice penetrating seal. And then before I install the pipes, I'm also gonna do some silicone, which will just give it some added water protection. For the paint, I like using this Rust-Oleum enamel. Works really good, quick dry time. I've used it a lot. So then I'm gonna go ahead and just do some masking tape on the front here. That way we're not gonna get any spray paint into the boot. All right, so that looks. Yeah, good, okay. So that hit that with some paint. And then, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and rub some silicone all around each hole um, before the pipes slide through. Let's go ahead and get these cut. I'm just gonna use the chop saw real quick, cut them in half, and then uh, hopefully by then the paint will be dry and we can start getting this all put together. All right, well, giving that some more time to dry, I think I'm gonna work on that vertical mount. I've been holding on to this piece 
of uh, wood here and I haven't been sure what I wanted to do with it. It just looked so good to use for something. I was thinking some kind of trim or something like that. So I think I'm gonna use this to make that vertical mount. I'm gonna cut two pieces of this off this run, sandwich them together and then wrap it in carpet. And then that's gonna be my mount that the cl uh, clips clamp onto. So that's gonna mount out about right there. We should be able to clip on. That'll fit perfectly right against the wall like that. All right, so I actually don't want to wait for epoxy to dry on these, so I'm just going to be using this high-strength contact adhesive. Okay, go ahead and join these together. Uh, now that this is getting its time to dry, the paint over here has now dried. So we can go ahead and start working on getting the tubes installed. My plan for the tubes are basically slide them most of the way through. Then once we're near the end, I'm gonna run some silicone around the front of the tubes, pull the silicone in. That's gonna seal up the edges of the holes on the front. I'll put some silicone on the back of the holes. That will just keep water, just in case it gets on the front or back of this panel from getting inside the wood. Um, and that's also gonna help keep the tubes in place. One thing I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get my heat gun and as I'm working the tubes in, I'm gonna try to bend them a little bit to follow the contours of the boat. Once the tubes are installed, we'll cap everything with the cover plate. Okay, so to bend this pipe into place, what I'm gonna do is push it into position and then I'm gonna apply heat right next to where I'm pressing down, which will hopefully level out the front of it. I'm just applying heat right where it comes through the wood. I have the front of it braced. I'm just pulling up on the back of it till it clears the brace in the front here. And then once it's clear, I'm just gonna hold into position and let it cool. All right, so this has had time to cool. It definitely did the bend like I wanted, so that's awesome. God, that fits great now. The other ones clear the brace on their own. So in general, all the pipes fit really well back there. It actually makes a kind of cool pattern the way they all slide in. And once they're siliconed in place up here, I don't think they're gonna be going anywhere. Just gonna add a little bit of silicone around each pipe. I think what I'm gonna do is add it to the top, so I'm gonna use my hand to spread it. and get this plate installed. Now it's all cleaned up. Now we can finish running these pipes through. Man, I just love when a plan comes together because honestly, this is exactly what I was hoping it would look like, hoping the way it would function, everything routed perfectly behind it. Uh, one thing I did was add some Velcro on the back of each pipe towards where it rested onto the boat. That way there's no um, rattling or anything like that as we're riding around. So as I said, now we're gonna go ahead and get this painted up, wrapped in carpet and start working on the clips. Okay, now that this has dried, we are good to go ahead and start wrapping this in carpet. I have a bunch of scrap left over from the different things we've been doing. It looks like this piece right on top will work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off a couple inch section on here. So I think that this piece is gonna work. We have enough to wrap it around on both sides now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the one face with, with this contact cement here. We're gonna press it down and then I'll wrap it. Okay, you got that on here. There should be good. There we go. That is a nice carpeted mount. Now, if you were a little confused in the beginning about what I was explaining, basically, this is going to be where the clips are going to get mounted onto. I wanted it carpeted so it kind of blended in with everything. That way it pushes the rods a little bit out from the wall so they slide in nicely to the holes on the rod holder down there. Well, this position is perfect for my longest rod. Uh, let's try the shortest rod just to make sure. Yeah, the shortest rod will still sit 
and fit just fine. It's actually probably even come right there on it. Get the clip like right there. Now I just wanna make sure this is straight up and down. And let's get this tacked into the wall. Okay, that is solid. Awesome. Now that we have all of the components in place, I'm gonna go ahead and get this area cleaned up, fit the rods and see how it looks. All right guys, well, after a few weeks with this on the water, I gotta say, this actually turned out really, really well. I have had absolutely no problems with this. All the rods fit perfectly. The clips and everything here is holding up great. Um, I'm not sure which ones I used in the video, but I ended up switching all to the large ones. I find that that holds the rods really well. Uh, like I said, no complaints. I'm really happy with how this came out. All right, well, if you guys found this helpful, don't forget to let me know by hitting that like button. If you want to see more videos like this and all the cool stuff I got coming up for the John Boat, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.